What's up, everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson, and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, what to expect from Dave Filoni's Star Wars movie, the next three sets of films in the storied Star Wars franchise, plus updates and trailers for upcoming Star Wars shows to Disney+. And John Leguizamo is protesting the new Mario movie, and why you should too. I'm just kidding. We're all gonna go see it no matter what he says. Let's drop it. Right now, Star Wars fans celebrate, like literally. It's Star Wars celebration happening in London all week long. And we've got a ton of Star Wars news to break down, with new details emerging on new entries into the franchise that's not too far, far away. Starting with both Dave Filoni and James Mangold set to direct two separate upcoming Star Wars films. Now, detailing what we can expect further from each director, Filoni's movie will apparently close out the New Republic, tying up the stories told within the Disney Plus shows, The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, and the upcoming Ahsoka series. Now, this is great news for Star Wars fans, as Filoni has been behind some of the franchise's most beloved recent entries, expanding the galaxy first in animated form with The Clone Wars and Rebels before breaking into live action with The Mandalorian, which he co-created with Jon Favreau. As for J James Mangold's movie, it'll be set during the dawn of the Jedi, so tens of thousands of years before any of the other Star Wars movies or shows. Now for Filoni, this will be a great way for the interconnected stories we've seen play out on the Disney Plus live action offerings with Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett, and soon Ahsoka to tie up any loose ends left on the small screen and potentially bring these characters together for galactic battle fit for theaters. Now that's a tall order, but if anyone is up for the task, it's Dave Filoni, who was a protege of George Lucas prior to the Disney era of Star Wars. Now as for where this particular movie will fall in the overall timeline after the events of Return of the Jedi and before The Force Awakens. Now, those are just two of the announced three Star Wars movies, so let's not forget about the third. Directed by Charmaine Obeyed Chinoy, the Daisy Ridley starring project will center around Rey and where she is over a decade after the events witnessed in the Star Wars sequel trilogy. Now, it'll apparently see Rey establishing a Jedi Academy to train a new group of Padawans in the way of the Jedi. Now, with the movie taking place in an unexplored Star Wars era known as the New Jedi Order, no relation to the pre-Disney non-canon Legends era, also titled New Jedi Order, it'll be up to Rey to rebuild what was lost. Now, very interesting seeing that particular story continue after the events of The Rise of Skywalker. Now, as for what we can expect on the small screen, well, we did get a trailer for the upcoming Ahsoka series on Disney+. Plus. Now, this series titled Star Wars Ahsoka will feature the titular hero along with other Star Wars Rebels characters fans of the franchise will be familiar with. Now, it's really interesting seeing Lucasfilm adapt the Star Wars Rebels to live action and fans of the 3D animated series are definitely in for a treat in August. Now, there will be something for older Star Wars fans, too. Now, the show will feature the live-action debut of Grand Admiral Thrawn, and the name drop of Heir to the Empire is a pretty overt nod to the Timothy Zahn novel that helped launch the expanded universe in the early 90s. Now, we've known Andor would be getting a second season for a while now, and showrunner Tony Gilroy gave some updates. He said, quote, we started shooting in November. We're about halfway through. We're going to shoot through August. We're on the exact schedule. Finish in August, spend another year in post. I suppose we'll come out the following August. Now, those in attendance at the Star Wars celebration in London were treated with a few clips from the upcoming season, which will be its final season and is expected to tell an epic Star Wars story all the way up to the events of Rogue One. Now, Gilroy spoke about that saying, quote, if you know your ending, it really helps. There are a lot of shows, shows that I love and they're trying to figure out where they're going. We know where we're going. It's kind of like the escape from prison. You know where you're going. It's really great to have that sense of direction to steer the ship to the right destination. Now, we also got our first reveal of Star Wars Skeleton Crew with Jude Law in a younger cast. Now, it's been compared to a lot of 80s coming of age adventure movies like The Goonies. Now, no release date just yet for this one, but we can expect it sometime this year. And finally, set during the end of the High Republic era, Star Wars The Acolyte will be making its way to Disney Plus in 2024. 
Now, told from the perspective of the bad guys, this is the furthest back the Star Wars live action franchise has gone. Though considering it's only a few hundred years before the prequels, there's a good chance Yoda shows up. And apparently one of the Jedi will be a Chewbacca, so that'll be fun to watch, right? Chewbaccas are fun. I know that's not the name of the, the, that's the name of the character, but that's what I'm calling him. He's Chewbacca to me forever. The force is clearly strong with the Star Wars franchise as fans of the galaxy far, far away will be eating pretty damn good in the coming months and years. You know, assuming these movies don't get canceled, yeah. Meanwhile, someone not eating too well and who needs to take a slice of humble pie is John Leguizamo. Now speaking with TMZ, he told the media outlet that he won't be watching the new Super Mario Brothers movie due to its lack of inclusion in its casting. Quote, no, I will not be watching. They could have included a Latin character, like I was groundbreaking, and then they stopped being groundbreaking. They messed up the inclusion. They disincluded. Just cast some Latin folk. We're 20% of the population, the largest people of color group, and we are underrepresented. Now, this is a follow-up from a tweet Leguizamo made last year talking about how they went all white with the casting and how the 1993 film he starred in as Luigi was groundbreaking for its inclusion of a Latin lead. Now John Leguizamo is clearly off his rocker as this new movie has Keegan-Michael Key as told, Kevin Michael Richardson, and Kari Payton in the Super Mario Brothers movie. Now these are three black dudes. Now that's far from all white, an all white cast in my opinion. I'm pretty sure y'all agree with me. I think he's just upset he's not in this movie. The 1993 live action Mario film was bad. Let's just be honest. Come on now, be honest with yourselves. And the director of that movie came out recently admitting that they took certain liberties with the source material that they would have never done if Miyamoto were more involved. Now the man didn't want to get his hands dirty with that film. Quit tripping. You know he wanted to have nothing to do with that. Anyways, John Leguizamo really needs to just take a chill pill and just be happy that he was part of the Mario Silver Screen legacy, no matter how much of a stain it might have left on it to begin with. Uh, at least all this hype for the 2023 film put his live action take at number one on Amazon's bestsellers list right ahead of the pre-order for the new 3D animated movie. Now, maybe some parents were just confused as to what they were purchasing. You know, it's like that whole thing, we don't need to go see Mario in theaters, we have Mario at home type scenario. Yeah, I, I, it, that's just a terrible thing to have at home, but it's cheap, you can get it now. Anyways, chill out, John, please chill out. We still love you and your terrible, highly inaccurate depiction of Brother Luigi. And that about does it for your entertainment fix for today. I'm Akeem Lawanson, and thank y'all so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.